Hi, welcome to another episode of Beltur Tech uh, slash VU3 Golf Fisk Number video series. Today I have here a Zigu G90. It's an excellent uh, field ops uh, portable radio, 20 watts uh, HF all bander. As you can see, it will go from receiving is 0.5 megahertz to 30 megahertz. Transmit is 1.8 megahertz all the way to 29.7 megahertz. So this uh, is a 20 watt radio. It's got fantastic features. Uh, it's a SDR based radio. It's got uh, SWR scanner, it's got uh, CW mode, SSB, AM, USB-D, LSB-D, so you can do data ops here. It's also got an antenna tuner, 4 is to 1 antenna tuner, and very well built. So as you can see, I've made one small change here. I've replaced the default uh, battery connector, which is a mini Tamiya to a XT60. I did not like that, so I had to make that change here. So apart from that, rest everything is the same. So very well built radio. So very quickly, let's uh, switch it, switch on the radio. But before we do that, let us see what's there in the box. It's got the radio, you got the manual, you got a connector. This connector incidentally is for the head unit to connect to the body unit. So what happens is you can take out these, uh, you know, uh, screws and the handles come off where you can pull the head unit out and connect the head unit to the body using this cable. So this is a detachable head body, but Right now when you see it, you don't uh, think it is detachable, but it is very much detachable head and uh, it's got, uh, you know, uh, stands of front and both so that you can keep the radio like this, you can keep the radio like this, you can keep the radio like this. I mean, it's, it's built for portable use, very solid, very handy. It's not very big, it's not very small either. It's got heat sink all over the place. As you can see, the MOSFETs are mounted at the bottom and the front speaker jack is here. Yeah, uh, I had to take the sticker out because I had to replace this jack. I'll put in photos at the end on how to replace this. The Mini Tamiya is a bad, bad choice for this radio. Okay, let's come back and uh, look at what makes the radio special. Of course, you get a multifunction uh, PTT, uh, you know, mic with this radio. It's got a RG45 jack so and RG45 here so that you can replace the cables or make it uh, use an extender to make it longer in case of field ops. The buttons are very well placed and it will light up once you connect the power and you can control many of the radio operation from here including changing the band, the mode, the filters. Right now in the current firmware the filter is not working but will be upgraded. You can add memory. I'll show you how to add memory and use that. It's much much easier than many of the other radios. Okay, let's come back, connect the battery and let's switch on the radio. Okay, so the let's switch on the radio. The button that you see here is the on button. You press and hold and it will switch it on. And let me just connect the microphone as well so that uh, everything is connected and you can see the microphone lights up. Very nice uh, lighting by the way. And as you can see, it's a fantastic little screen. Uh, let me take this a little bit closer so that you can see. Uh, yeah, so right now I have it on the memory mode. I'll switch it to, so as you can see, it's got the VFOA, VFOB as well. You can change that. On the top, you have the band switch so you can go from so, uh, 8, uh, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17, 15, 12, 10, and then back to 160 meters, uh, 80, 60, back to 40. So you can change the bands here, you can change the mode here. This goes from LSB to LSB data, USB, USB data, CW, CWR, and then narrow FM mode, AM, and then back to LSB, right? It's also got a, um, we'll go through the functions one by one, right? So this is the... Uh, menu, uh, sorry, this is the volume button. You can click on the volume uh, and then if you click on it once, it will go into a headphone mode uh, so that if you have not connected a headphone, you can quickly mute the radio using this and back. So where do you connect the headphone? You connect the headphone here and then the bottom one is your COM port or your, uh, you know, where you can uh, connect the USB cable which comes along with the radio. I don't have it now. The seller did not pack, put it in the package, but he's sending it separately. Once I get that, I'll make a quick short video out of that. You can use that uh, FTDI chipset to 3.5 TRS plug into this and upgrade the firmware for the radio, right? Let's look at the back, what we have in the back. You've got the battery, uh, the connector, which I said I changed it. Then you've got the accessory port. Then you've got the IQ. You can connect a TRS plug to the IQ and to your sound card uh, in the laptop and get uh, real-time data using SDR shower power, SDR radio, right? Then you've got the COM port. This is another COM port. Use the same FTDI chipset USB cable uh, with uh, ending with a 3.5 TRS to this and upgrade the firmware of the base. So firmware comes in two packages for this. 
one for the base, one for the head. So you have to apply the firmware for the base first and then the head. Then I got the keyer. It's got an excellent uh, Morse key setup uh, that I'll explain later. You got the grounding tab and then you got the SO239, right? So then what else? So let's look at the front layout. You got the volume button, which I explained that uh, you can, uh, you know, push this to mute or headphone and then push it back onto. So and the speaker is pretty loud. I have not connected the antenna. I'll connect it and show it to you. And then you've got the multifunction toggle here. Uh, you can set it up. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit and come back. Thank you. Okay, that's much better. You can see the display very cleanly. So this is the multifunction button I was talk telling about. You press and hold, it'll go into the multifunction menu. So right now I set it to RF gain. By default, it is on uh, frequency, 100k shift. But I set it to RF gain. You can set it to squelch level power level, power uh, adjustment. So the power, like I said, this is a 20 watt radio. So the power goes from one watt to 20 watts. But I check into most of the morning nets uh, south of the India, South India. So I'm able to check into almost all of the nets with just five whiskey, right? It's fantastic, uh, you know, uh, working capacity with this radio. And then key speed, you can change the key speed, FFT scale. Right now in this firmware, there are some quirks with the FFT and the bandwidth. So hopefully they'll fix it in the next, next firmware. RF gain, which is uh, usually I set it to 60 to 70 percent to get the right uh, yes number. Otherwise, you set it a little lesser, even though in an, another radio like 7300, if, the, uh, if it's yes, uh, 58 or 59, this will show you 5354. So set it to 60 percent and above, it should be fine. Then frequency. So you press this, you come back to the main screen. Then you have got the preamp or the ATT here. Uh, let me just connect the antenna so that we can hear what's happening here. No, on the bands. So as you can see, the waterfall is picking up. Let me see if there is some chaos going on. Nothing. Nobody on the bands. That's sad. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me go to this. Uh, A and B. This is how you switch. This is the Mumbai ATC. So, as you can see, the audio quality is excellent. Can you increase the volume. You can do a preamp or ATT. So, it will reduce a lot of noise. Let's uh, go back to 7077 or let's try some other band. Nothing much. Bands are empty. Nothing much happening anywhere. So that's it. I'll see if I can get somebody to come into a have a PSO with us. This is the FTA signals. Uh, so we can go to USB data and this went into ATT mode. So yeah. Nothing on 10 meters as well. So pretty bad band conditions. Anyways, so the point was to show you different functions. As you can see, you press and hold the function button here. It will uh, you can set different options here. Frequency change plus handle up and down. So you can change what is there uh, to be handled for the uh, you know uh, remote menus, right? Then uh, next handle F1, F1 and F2 are buttons here. You can set the configuration for these buttons here, right? Then ATC uh, preamp, so next F2 split, um, then LCD backlight, you can adjust to higher values. I'll keep mine at 40%. Then aux in volume, once you connect the laptop uh, connectivity, you can set the aux volume in, aux volume out. Then uh, you don't adjust the, this is to adjust, you know, uh, receive and transmit uh, frequency correction. Don't change this from zero. This is all factory set, so it should be working fine. Then band stack mode, full band or hand band, it'll, it'll go through all the recently when you press band, it'll go through all the bands. Or if it is ham band, it'll go into only change to ham band only. Right. So on off beep, enable version. So this will tell you what version of firmware we have on the system. Right. So exit. So that is your function. You can press just once, light will turn on and they can press other uh, features here. Uh, let me see. ATC, RF gain, so special split mode will turn on split here. 
the shelter now i don't exactly remember okay let me see first click yeah split okay let me turn this off yeah and then i got the memory read memory write it's very easy to set a so let's uh, put uh, 28 100 into memory so press and hold this we get this channel 5 keep on looking for say empty channel right you got 63 memory locations so put it on 62 just press this again it's not to 62 so go to vm go to 62 you can see 21 uh, 28 100 there, right so it's very very easy now let's get into the tune so the antenna that i'm using here is a homebrew four band uh, inverted v uh, i have 40 20 15 and 10 so on all these bands it can tune uh, and tune 18 and uh, sometimes condition for me to even 30 right so press on tune it will tune so the antenna is tuned right uh, in the power button you press once you can change the power right how much power you want right now set it to 10 watts and then swr threshold where the tuner comes into play so put it to 2 and uh, press tune again it's tuning very fast because i already have a 10 meter antenna right push and hold power you'll get into the swr scanner see with the tuning my swr is like one right uh one is to one that's fantastic so let's quit here and uh go into say uh, oh i mean uh, okay so i don't have a uh, 12 meter antenna so let's uh, try and tune so i tuned it right now go to uh SWR, see it's at 1, right? I don't even have a 12 meter antenna. See, now it has tuned only for that reason and any reason outside that, it's showing a 2.5 SWR, right? 2.5 SWR without even tuning, it's not tuned in that range. So when you move the frequency and press tune, it'll tune in that range, right? 2.5 SWR even without uh, the tuning in place is, it's actually good. You can use it even in normal conditions considering this QRP radio, right? So I'll press quit and uh, go to say, 21 uh, 100 i've got a 15 meter antenna and it's pretty well tuned so i'm i'll switch out the tuner i'll press swr scanner see it's tuned to about 1.4 uh, 1.5 right now i'll quit this and tune this that was quick and press scanner again see it's all tuned to uh, 1.0 now right so the combination of tuner and the swr scanner works great this is the biggest advantage of this radio that out in the field when you are uh, putting up antenna this is a very very easy way to check how your antenna is performing and then start using the radio right you don't need an nano vna you don't need a another uh, you know equipment with you to carry along this radio you know has it all and works it, right so let's try and find if you can get a cw i just want to show you a cw how it decodes cw i don't think anybody is doing cw now okay let's see some. I don't know if it is CW, but let's go to CW mode. Yeah, it's not probably CW. It's got a pilot light here. Once it picks up a CW, it'll show. And you can press and hold the key. And it'll show you the decoding of CW. This is another fantastic thing. Unfortunately, you can put it on practice mode. But in practice mode, even if you, you know, practice mode means it won't do TX so in key mode you have speed you have uh, you know the type of key standard uh, and mode a mode b mode c then qsk qsk off means it won't send that then the cw will put it in red cwr right so even if you are in practice mode you can practice and it will give you the tones and everything but it won't decode it uh, my usdx can do the decoding even in practice mode but this cannot it will only light up the slide they call it the pilot light for uh, i need to read up on that a little bit but it will when it listens a perfectly tuned cw signal this will light up and this will see i think it started it heard something there and uh, this will decode so pretty interesting features i'm not more of a morse guy yet so i don't know i have not used this much so yeah this is lock you can lock it up so that none of these works or does anything uh, you can also reduce the brightness using this right so overall uh, a excellent radio and uh, 
fantastic it's been a joy to use this especially in the field i've done you know set up a quick end fed on a poolside in a hotel and use this radio uh with a you know just a end fed set up in under five minutes and use this radio i got fine line from most of south india right so fantastic radio uh let me see if i can get somebody to come on the air and have a quick view of with them okay uh thank you i'll be back in just a minute VU3 TBO, this is VU3 Golf is key number. Uh, thank you, Rajesh, for coming to my call. Uh, copying you 5758, excellent copy with RF gain at 80%. Back to you. VU3 TBO, this is VU3 Golf is key number. I am at 10 with T. Good evening, sir. We are 5758, Roger, Roger, uh, Rajesh, uh, thanks for that report. Uh, yeah, e evening, uh, I, as I mentioned, I had a QSO with the Indonesian uh, net, uh, Rajesh, uh, with uh, just 20 whiskey. Uh, that's the information. Okay, uh, Rajesh, uh, thank you very much for the report. Back to you, VU3 TBO, the VU3 Golf whiskey number. Roger, Roger, uh, Rajesh, uh, thanks for that report. Uh, nothing else, Rajesh, as I mentioned, uh, recording this for the G90 video. Along with this video, I'll also post some pics on the uh, power rad, uh, power connector change. Uh, I did not take a video, just some pictures uh, where I'll do a voiceover. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else, Rajesh. Uh, thank you for coming to my call. I'll go for a final. Back to you, VU3 TBU. This is VU3 Golf is key number. Roger, Roger. Uh, even you came up to 59 Rajesh. Excellent audio as usual. Thank you very much again for coming to my call and uh, hope to catch you again tomorrow. 73 and have a great night. Okay, so that is a quick uh, QSO with uh, VU3 TBU who is right now working uh, from Malapuram about 400 kilometers away from Bangalore. Right? So, yeah, uh, fantastic radio. Uh, overall, good for... Uh, you know field operations at 20 watts is more than enough plan to hook it up to an amplifier uh, looking at one let me see if i can get a good one and then probably i'll make another video of that amplifier as usual uh, yeah one thing i didn't mention is the automatic uh, gain control so you can switch between slow fast you know automatic and then switch it off as well so a lot of features here uh, get this radio you'll not be disappointed excellent except for the power connector uh, which uh, I was able to replace today. So other than that, it's a fantastic little radio. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again for another uh, video sometime. Yeah, uh, 73s and have a great day. Thank you.